of Tourette's as well. Um, none of you will know, which is absolutely fine. I just feel quite self-conscious about it. Um, but my tics aren't verbal, they're physical, which is great, because it means that I can't heckle myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, um, my tics are more physical, so I get dead self-conscious about it, because I can't tell if people are aware of it or not. Um, and self-consciousness kind of get, came to a head a few years ago while I was in high school, because I developed a tick where I wink. I still do it now, you might notice, you might not, it's cool. Um, but it got to the point where I had to get my mum to write in to explain that I wasn't hitting on my Spanish teacher. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be sat in class like, Miss, 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 I've got a question. <laughs> but, um, I got diagnosed with Tourette's when I was about seven or eight, and then um, my parents were recommended we go to this conference, like a little parent kid conference about Tourette's in Coventry. So uh, it wasn't off to the best start there, to be fair. <laughs> and, um, it was in like this kind of like leisure centre, sports holy type place, um, and I don't know which fucking genius had the idea to put a load of kids with Tourette's in a confined space. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, some personal highlights was uh, Gordon Brown likes dogs. <laughs> Gordon Brown likes dogs. <laughs> I mean, I'm no conspiracy theorist by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, ex-Prime Minister of Great Britain forming the nation's favourite pet. Probably plausible. <laughs> <laughs>